Um, neuroplasticity is about uh, how we create new connections in our brain and also adult neurogenesis, how we create uh, new uh, brain cells. Yes, we do. Um, so neuroplasticity is actually all about learning. And, uh, and so when we're talking about a growth mindset, obviously it's all about learning. So what is the first rule of neuroplasticity? Don't talk about neuroplasticity. That, no, 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 yeah, that's another. I really have to. That's 99, I think, this film came out, right? <sighs> Come on. That's, yeah, that's way too old. First rule of neuroplasticity. And actually, Declan said it without saying, knowing that it was the first rule of neuroplasticity. We become better at whatever we repeat and focus on. So whatever we repeat and focus on, both are important, we become better at. Now, the problem with that is that our brain doesn't have a moral compass. Our brain doesn't care if whatever we do, we repeat and we focus on, uh, if it's good or bad. It doesn't care. It just, it's efficient. Remember system one, system two? We go from, uh, when we learn something new, when we do something new for the first time, we do that in system two. And then it gets, the more we do and repeat it, it gets automated and we get into system one. We become better at whatever we repeat and focus on. So that's an issue because our brain makes us better at more efficient at whatever we do. It can be about eating, uh, well, like this, it's smoking. I smoked for 15 years. I was really good at it. I was smoking each time more and more. I was, at one time I was two packets a day. Anybody here smokes or has smoked? Nobody, nobody smokes right now? Awesome, that's great. Uh, sm smoking nicotine, really bad for your brain, so great. So it can be about, uh, yeah, it's everything, right? Gambling, uh, smoking, uh, shopaholism, uh, uh, any kind of drugs, but also workaholism, you know? We, we, we can get into something that, that just takes us away, but yeah, anyway, uh, addictions is, again, something, a whole other topic that I shouldn't be touching on right now. But the problem is, we become better at being self-destructive as well. And that can be a real issue, a real burden. So, um, so we have a choice. And we've, oh no, am I really gonna do a Monty Python reference now? You have to choose wisely. Um, so, no, the Holy Grail, yeah, sorry. I'll stop doing those, I'll stop. So you, the, the thing is, you have to be, um, you have to choose wisely. What is it you want to, uh, you, you want to become better at? What is it you will repeat and focus on? And it, it's true during daytime, whatever you work on, but also in the nighttime, you come home, will you start binge watching uh, Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever streaming channels and other stuff they're inventing nowadays? Will you be, uh, will you be just playing video games the whole evening or will you maybe continue to study and work on your, whatever it is you're working on, right? We, uh, it, it, it will demand more effort, of course. You will have to go to that system too. But system one, system one is basically our brain being lazy. System one, what you need to understand with system one is that we are 95% of our time in system one, but it's, I don't have exact figures about that, but it's fair to say that 95% of the population remains in system one. 95% of the population will not go that extra step, will not go the extra mile, and will not challenge uh, themselves to, to try to, to, to get further, to, to, to improve constantly, to, to get into that growth mindset of Carol Dweck and reach the, 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 the grit from, uh, from Angela Duckworth. So that is the thing with neuroplasticity. We have a huge responsibility towards ourselves. We are the masters of our own destiny in that, uh, 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 when, when we look at it that way. However, we, um, we have to choose. Sharp.